and I have a dog that called Kosto. Bless you. That gives us the capability to set room temperatures. We can also set schedules, set timings for when the aircon must go on by itself. It will, I think, they call it an eco friendly system, so it uses less power. Uh, it's a lot lighter on the grid. And I think uh, usability, we will see. We, we, we haven't used one yet. So I think it, it will be a very nice feature to have. And the only thing you do is you set room temperatures and you set timings and then the aircon will only stay on until the room is on that temperature. Then it will go off by itself. Another useful tip is to do your ceiling insulation together with an aircon because if you only do the aircon you will keep battling the heat that's coming from the ceiling. So uh, a good tip is to do the insulation while you're doing the aircon. Since I've seen this multi led unit type of thing, I've looked at a few of the houses in that regard. Um, the problem is, most of those are not flips. Um, what we are looking at is trying to see if we can subdivide a property into five or six units and maybe sell them off. So it's a flip, but a, a rezoning and a flip. So that process is about a year to two years, so it's quite a long process. But profitability on those are quite high, so um, that is something we are exploring. Hi, this is our newest property. I'm, I'm physically actually taking occupation now. I don't know why I'm talking that soft. It's not like we're burgling a place, <laughs> it sounds a bit like it. Um, so we are literally taking occupation of this property today and what I mean by that is we get access uh, to it. So we've bought it, the finance has been approved and at this stage we have access to the property. I can't remember exactly but the owner, well the seller said they, they actually moved away and they left the the key for the front door under one of the, here it is, under a pot. So there we got the key. This key won't be there tomorrow. So by the time you see this video, it won't have any value in it. But, yeah. So this is the newest property. We haven't given it a name yet. In the next video or the next time I might have a name for it yet. 
uh, but we have quite a few plans with it. Uh, let me just show you through around the outside quickly. Um, so there's a pool over here. We plan on not keeping this pool. It's actually sad because um, most of the pools we, uh, we get are not in this good condition and we will probably take it out because uh, we have some other plans with it. The LAPA is going as well. We don't like LAPAs. Uh, so that's going as well. Uh, that's the front door that we went through. It's still a very old, typical Gashfontein house, well built, nice and strong. Uh, coming through, there's a little uh, living area on the right hand side with a sliding door going out. And then we are going into a, a dining area as well as a kitchen. As you can see, very much still old style Gashfontein. Well, old style 70s and 80s where the kitchen used to be a very separate room, not as much open plan. Ben, was that your head on this? <laughs> yeah. We want to sell this, it's an antique, please don't buy our stuff. Um, <laughs> um, it's definitely not an antique. If you want to buy that, hit me up, I'll give it to you for free. <laughs> I think we actually have some renders already to what we're planning but to give you a short idea we're gonna slice this house up for into units and then probably have it rezoned and and changed into multiple units so uh, that's the plan for this property um, have a look at some of these renders So I hope those renders gave you quite a good idea of what we are planning for this house. What I do want to say at this stage is we will take you along for the process of what we are doing with these units and how we plan to, to rent them out and make some income from them. I want to at this stage also let you know they will be done approximately end of June. If you are in Pretoria East and you're looking for a small bachelor's one bedroom type of unit, let me know. I might have something for you. Other than that, uh, as always, welcome to the journey of this house. It doesn't have a name yet. We'll give it a name soon. Uh, as soon as we do, we'll keep you guys up to date of that as well. And yeah, come along for the journey. Hi Carl, I hope you can help me. I am looking for uh, scaffolding, but preferably not something heavy and industrial, rather like a, a light steel or aluminium structure type of thing, and relatively small. Okay, what does that mean? Is it is it the big industrial or is it? Yeah, so one meter by one point five meters. Okay, and, and what does like a rack maybe cost, say, that can go, what, 2.5 meters or, or something like that high? So, I've found a few places now looking for scaffolding. <laughs> Seems quite a bit more expensive than we planned. Um, so what I'm going to do now is something I always do. I'm going to look for something second hand. Uh, so I'm going to jump on Gumtree, uh, Facebook Marketplace, OLX, Junk Mail. Because somewhere there's somebody who has one of these racks that I'm looking for that they used once or twice or ten times and don't need any more. Those are the types of people we want to maybe get to. Just a uh, heads up to what we are doing. As you saw down there, we opened up the carpet. Now that was the addition, so we want to open up the carpet at a few places. 
to see what flooring is underneath here. If it's a nice concrete throughout, then we might actually consider to not tile this house at all and have a polished concrete throughout. Take some hassle in terms of cleaning up and, and so on, because you'll see a lot of this is typically glued on. You always see nice big cracks when you do it this way. So there's a crack. I need to look at what we're going to do here. This is going to be a bathroom, right? So this we can fix up and tile over it. So that's not a big problem. Even this, and it's all glued. A bit more rough. But there's a few ways. Some people paint this, some people actually polish it up. And that makes it look nice as well. But it is floated quite neatly, so it might be something we can use. So if you know, want to know what most of the stuff is we do, three quarters of my time is spent trying to figure out how to lock and unlock doors. It's actually locking, but it's not going in. Huh? Okay, this stays unlocked. Try to give a full review but the problem with this property is it's kind of not exactly what we're looking for but it might work really well for something else so I've, I'm, I'm busy doing a bunch of math in my head and trying to figure out if it can work and how it can work it will be a big investment um, as you heard the price is four million hopefully we'll get it for a bit less but but still the price is quite substantial it's quite a big property to buy but with that taken into account, I think there's money to be made on that deal. Um, I will now run through all the consents, plans of the property, uh, do a proper due diligence on it. And then uh, I want to figure out, there's a, there's a way you can do guest house finance on a, on, a, on a property. So try to do a finance application for a guest house as part of that. Um, that deal. If that works in that way, it will um, be the most efficient way to do that uh, finance. So yeah, I'll do a bit of research on that and probably consider putting in an offer on that. As you can see, we've been very busy. We are on the last day before me and my wife are moving into this house and some would say it's not finished <laughs> but uh, i would beg to differ i think we've done a immense amount of work um, there's still a bit of touches we have at least we have another 12 hours or so to get it finished before the moving truck comes but uh, i thought i would like to give you a bit of a, a rundown again of the week what we did on the site and uh, maybe just show you a bit of a bit of the things that we did so coming in from the front door, which is this magnificent aluminium door, we haven't even unwrapped it because it's clean, it's new. So uh, we'll, we'll open that a bit later today. Um, it's a 1.2 meter door, gives me easy access to the house. Um, so I'm pretty chuffed with that. No steps, nothing, just smooth way in over the tiles. Um, we have a nice dark feature wall on this side. Um, also, another thing, we, we went through a lot of color samples, painting three or four samples on the wall, seeing, what, because whatever sachet or, or um, the samples that you get on the paper never looks the same on the wall. So we had to do a few samples, see what works with the lighting, see what works with the black windows. And uh, so this is what we came up with. It's, a, it's a, basically a charcoal. But yeah, a bit more work goes into that than, than the finished product. Actually, we're still very busy here. Yeah. Finishing, cleaning, plumbing, 
cornicing. Uh, the stove went in yesterday, very happy with that. Um, you can see all the countertops are in. We're busy with, with some small touches, a bit of backsplash tiling here. Uh, this, is, this is one that my wife picked, a nice green. Um, so very happy with that. Uh, another thing that we've added early in the week was this fireplace. You can see it needs another, uh, it needs another coat, but it's in and, and with the weather we have today, I'm very glad that we put it in. I think it's going to be a, a nice addition to the house, making this, this industrial type of feel, I think that will soften it a lot with the furnishings that we put in, wood and leather. Rooms are basically finished. We've received the cabinet doors. We've done final coats on the walls. We've put on some curtain rails. Uh, the flooring's in, final coats are on the skirting. Then on my left hand side, we have a lot of silicone going on. Silicone's happening in the bathrooms. All the plumbing's going in, all the finishing, finishing touches on the walls. Let's reverse here into the main bedroom. So also here, yeah, again, a lot of fitting, fixing, some insulation going into the roof. Curtain rails are on, aircon is in. I think this is the final coat on the skirtings. And then as we go into the bathroom, all the final fittings are being done. Uh, wardrobes are in, floating shelves are in. Basin is coming in now, feature walls painted. Tell us what you think about the feature walls. Another one of those, we had about 10 different shades of green. Um, and this is the one that we decided on. So give us a comment, tell us what you think. Or if you want the, if you want the name of the color, we'll be sure to supply it to you. That's basically what happened on my side this week. It's been a busy week. We will, however, be moving in tomorrow as promised. Uh, I have a few wager bets that will be paying off. Uh, sitting here I can see a great view because we had the swimming pool removed today. The second hand swimming pool got sold. Uh, so I'm a very happy man. My wife's very happy about that as well. So yes, we will be moving in tomorrow and we're very happy about that. So see you guys later. We're at the end of another week of construction in Dispond Properties. We've had a very busy week. Uh, I think it was due to my own, my own plan to fail, or fail failure to plan. Um, I think it was a, a drastic deadline that I put myself in here with this house. Um, I think we, we managed to do, to do very well, still to say the least. Um, but it's the end of week two. And we've done another week of filming. Uh, we're very happy with the results of week one and uh, we love the feedback that we're getting. But yeah, so we've had a hectic week. We've been pushing to finish this house of mine and my wife's. Um, and it's Friday afternoon, four o'clock, and it's chaos outside. Uh, we're really busy cleaning, touching up, doing silicone, uh, mostly cleaning. We have to get a clean house. Uh, for the for the movement company to come in and, and offload everything so it's been quite hectic um, but I think we did well and we will be able to move in so I'm happy to say that uh, what Leroux neglected to say is since we're in construction even though it's hectic outside he said there's no way we're missing a Friday afternoon beer that's the way it works in construction it's what you need to do as soon as the clock hits two or three, it's time for a Friday afternoon beer. <laughs> so during this week, we also took occupation of a new house you would have seen in the video. Um, we're still busy with some design decisions there. We're still busy with some basic demolition. We started basic demolition with the idea that we can uh, basically figure out what do we want to keep, what do we want to um, let go of, what can we destroy and demolish completely, and what do we actually want to keep in that property. Uh, we're also busy with a few last decisions with regards to the design of, of that house. We are also busy at the Levels house. Uh, you, we, we're making good progress there. 
I have to say not much of my attention was there where it should have been. Um, but, but yeah, we were pushing at, at this site. But that's what, what's happening next week. We're moving load of workers, probably about 15 workers over to that site. Um, we're busy there with a lot of wet works. We, we're starting to patch up before painting and so on. Once painting starts, styling starts, then then we're starting again with finishing. So and there's a lot of stuff happening. At this stage, it's actually quite boring to see what's yes. happening here because it's plaster and patching with polyfilla and stuff like that. So it's not as interesting and not much theatrics in it. Um, we also looked at two properties this week. Uh, one of which we might or might not be busy with an offer or considering an offer. So I can't tell you too much at this stage because I don't want you guys to go out and buy one of the properties that we are looking at. So at this stage, I'm not going to tell you much more about that, but we did look at two properties we might or might not be busy with, with an offer on it uh, at the moment. Then just a few like admin and announcement type of things. Um, thanks for the feedback we really appreciate it like Larry said um, we really appreciate the shares the comments everything on the videos um, we're not posting these videos on Facebook or Instagram so it's only here on YouTube and the idea is that we want to pull some audience in from YouTube uh, from Facebook and Instagram so please share the, this um, uh, video this YouTube link onto Facebook onto your friends tell them about it that type of thing some of the feedback that we've been getting is that our sound is not good. We know that, I'm sorry, <laughs> we are in the process of figuring it out. We've bought four mics now, yeah. <laughs> one lapel mic, another directional mic. We bought an awesome set of, of um, dual mics as well, these guys. We're still figuring them out. <laughs> Last week in Henny's, especially at the end, it was quite heavy. This one is not working yet. It's supposed to work, it's not working yet. <laughs> In theory, uh, we're still figuring it out. We know about those issues. Please continue to give us feedback. If there's stuff you notice, stuff you see, because uh, we want to improve on this, so you want to watch this in the best convenience possible. But also remember, we are on building sites. This is our actual life. You are seeing, you are going along with us to view it, view properties. You, we are currently on a building site, but we're literally busy grouting or doing something outside the door at the moment. So this is our real life that we are sharing and because of that it's quite difficult to get all these technicalities from. But that's the aim, we want to up the level of production for you guys and, and show you more of that. Yeah, I think we would really appreciate if you leave a comment, leave a like, as any said, share it to all the social pages, uh, Instagram, Facebook, all of those. Uh, give us a subscribe on YouTube, we would appreciate that. And again, if you would like us to come do this review, maybe at your restaurant or at your pub or at your bar, any of those, we would be more than able to come through if it's in the vicinity. Able, able and willing. Able and willing. <laughs> and if we can get a beer sponsor, that, that would be extra special. We, we are not tied to this brand yet. But we do us. like them and we do support them an awful lot. We'll definitely take a cause of light sponsorship. But we'll consider all beer sponsorships at this stage. Yes, any uh, we are home brewery. seriously getting <laughs> derailed on this conversation. <laughs> Guys, that's the end of episode two. Thank you for watching. Like Larry said, please subscribe, share your comment, do the bell thing, whatever people say these days on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. End of episode two. Cheers.